Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be doing March Favorites video. Um, a lot of the products are stuff that I've loved over a long period of time. It's not just in March, but um, there are obviously items that I tend to um, use a lot more often within that month that I grabbed like every time I applied makeup. And so I wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, the first thing I wanted to go over is the Skin 79 Hot Pink um, BB Cream. And this is the triple functions that includes the um, whitening effect, also has SPF 25 for some protection, and it has anti-wrinkle. And so um, that's quite a bit of a lot of good stuff in there, and um, it smells wonderful. Um, I do have a haul video that I made um, a year ago or so, and I purchased this off of G Market. Um, it's kind of like a Korean Amazon, eBay. Uh, where the sellers um, have their store um, items out there and you kind of just pick it and they ship it out to you. Um, the shipping is actually quite fast, but they do sell this here in the U.S., so you don't really have to buy it internationally. Um, the price is, I think it ranges in the $20 ranges, which is not too bad. It smells really good. Um, the coverage is about medium. It's not really going to cover like all your itty-bitty flaws and your dark circles, which I have that problem, but... Um, it's good when you're in a hurry on the go and you don't want to wear heavy makeup. Um, you just put this on and I would just uh, apply concealer to the spots that I need to apply and I kind of, I'm not into the uh, sticky feeling so I kind of just mat it down with the uh, loose powder and um, good to go. And the fact that it has the sunscreen, I know there's some people who are, you know, too lazy to apply on like the skincare and then the sunscreen and the foundation and, you know, put on your makeup. It's just a lot of steps. And when you're in a hurry, sometimes you can't do all that. But yet, it's still important to take care of your skin. And so, um, a product like this would be really great for you to apply on um, when you don't want to do all those steps. Um, I will have the information um, on like a couple links that where you can find this um, in the info box below. Um, and the next product I want to go over is, oh, it's my bronzing products. And this uh, this one is the MAC Matte Bronzer, and this is the NYC Sunny Bronzer. So what I do is, um, this one I like because it's the lighter shade. It's not too dark, so it's not intimidating to put all over your face. Um, I've obviously hit pan, which is unusual because I never hit pan in a product unless it's like a powder. Um, it's a very night, uh, light golden bronze color. Um, you can never over apply this because it's not dark and it's matte, so there's no shine to it. I like to apply this kind of all over my outer skin, especially when I'm looking pretty pale, which is, I guess, almost every day because I'm, I'm pretty fair skinned. Um, it gives you a nice glow and the best part of that is I think this is only like $2.99 and they usually always have good deals and I kind of stocked up on this before when there was a rumor saying that there was um, this product was going to be discontinued. I don't know why they say that because obviously I see it all the time at the stores. Um, the other one is the MAC Matte Bronzer which is a lot darker and I've almost hit pan on this item as well. And this one I use mainly for contouring. Um, I'll apply the NYC Sunny Bronzer and then I'll put this kind of over um, just kind of on my um, this area right here and then maybe like you know my cheekbone area to give a little more sharp look. And it looks um, it looks really nice. It's not too dark but you know you could go overboard on this if you're not careful with it. But I use my um, dual fiber uh, powder brush and I you know blend in and make sure I get every area and I use it under my chin and it looks good um, gives you a nice bronzy glow and this as well has no shine no shimmer it's totally matte so that's why I like to pair both of those up um, especially when you have so much shimmer on your eyes like I do right now you don't want to be you know shining all over the place that just doesn't look good um, and the MAC one I believe it's um, I forgot how much it is I got it a while back but I think it's like 20 something or maybe less it's not too much the next product I want to go over is the uh, Lorac um, Starry Eye Baked Eyeshadow Trio. And this is an eyeshadow um, that came in a collection that I purchased at Sephora's. I forgot what it's called. It was like the Hollywood something collection. And it came with an eyeliner pen um, and eye primer, which works so good. And a brush and a couple other things. I forget. But I really like the eyeshadow. I didn't use it too much when I first got it. I have it on right now and um, it's super pigmented 
it works really good. Um, this is like a very light golden high, um, highlighter shade and this is a golden uh, bronzy color and this is like a smoky uh, dark grayish black. You could use this wet or dry um, but it works just as good when it's dry so this is like my go-to product when I'm kind of in a hurry and I'm wearing bright lips like I am today because um, you don't want to do bright on both parts because it'll look kind of crazy. Um, I have it on right now, I can't tell, but it's um, it works really good. It has a great shine and um, out in the sun it looks gorgeous. And I, I am like a really huge fan of Lorac eyeshadow products. They're awesome quality and sometimes I feel like people are too big on like every other brand and don't pay attention to like all these other smaller brands that are just as good if anything even better um, the other one that I got um, is actually from the Outlook sale and I don't know if this item is discontinued because I've seen this on sale in Clarence on Ulta um, Ulta.com and at the stores as well and they have them on sale on the Lorac.com website and I got this on the Outlook sale for like $3 last time and this is their baked matte satin eyeshadow and this is in the color Posh which is matte, it's a matte, um, kind of like Max Vanilla and it's really pigmented as well and I believe you could use this wet or dry as well but um, it works just as good dry and I use this as a highlight shade on my brow bone uh, especially when I'm using a shimmer um, eyeshadow like this I like to keep my brow bone matte. I don't want everything to be shining. It's really pigmented and I believe this comes in like a dark navy blue and then um, a white and then like a black or something. Maybe like four or five different shades. And um, this is the only one that I got right now but I really think it's worth getting every color. Especially if you're a fan of matte shadows. Um, it works really good. It lasts a long time. I also use this kind of like as a highlighter um, when I don't want the glowy type of look. I'll use this kind of down my nose bridge and then under my eye and then above my cheekbones and it gives you a matte um, highlight effect so it's it actually actually looks really nice and this was three dollars I believe which is a really good deal. Um, it's definitely better than drugstore and the price is probably even cheaper than a drugstore brand. So yeah I would recommend um, all the Lorac products um, especially their eyeshadow products. They're really good so far I'm loving it. The next product I want to go over is the um, um, this lip gloss um, is the Can Make Nudie Glow Rouge and Strawberry Milk, which is like the popular color that everyone has been raving about. Um, I heard about this product for quite a bit and I've been dying to get my lips on it. And um, I've been researching for quite a bit trying to find like the best deal because the fact that a lot of the sites um, that sell this, they're all international and so the shipping costs and everything is just starts to add up. And it's a drugstore brand so if I paid a lot more than um, you know than it's worth, then I just I don't know. I feel like it's kind of a rip off. And the site that I found it on, um, I forgot the name of it, but I'll have the link below. Um, so far, it's probably the cheapest place out of all the places that I looked, and it's free shipping, which is the best part. And there's no tax, of course, and it's coming straight from Japan, so it's an international order. And um, this was I think like twelve fifty or thirteen dollars, and that's all I paid because you know free shipping and. Um, I think that's like a really good deal compared to other places that sells it for a similar price and then you have to pay the international shipping cost. But here's a swatch of it. It's a gorgeous baby pink, um, a nude baby pink. And it comes with a brush, um, oops, sorry, brush applicator like that. Um, here is a color swatch. I get so much compliments when I wear this, especially when you have like a, a nice brown eyeshadow or like a, like a smoky look and you go nude like this with a baby pink. It looks gorgeous. Um, it lasts quite a bit. It's quite opaque. It's not too sheer. The pink actually shows. It looks so pretty and cute. Um, has no smell. So far it's not too sticky. Um, I usually don't like too, like too much sticky of a gloss like the lip, uh, MAC lip gloss. That's just a little too sticky. My hair like just gets stuck on this and this one's not too bad. Um, I do want to try all the other colors that they have because I'm loving the texture and the quality of this. So um, if you do want to look for a very cute nude baby pink lip gloss, I recommend this one. Um, the next one is another lip product that I'm wearing right now and it's uh, part of the Revlon collection. This is the Color Burst Lipstick and Coral. And I'm wearing it right now as I mentioned. Um, I love this line. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite drugstore brand lipsticks. 
Um, I have several colors uh, from this line and it's really creamy. Um, it's supposed to be kind of like a dupe of the Chanel Coco, um, Coco Rouge, I mean Rouge Coco line and um, it doesn't have a weird smell. It's very pigmented, it's very opaque. Um, it feels creamy, it's soft. I don't know, everything's just really great about it. And I wasn't really too sure about this color because I'm not too into the bright colors, but I know it's in for this uh, season and it's the trending color, especially coral lips. So I thought I'd give it a try because I purchased this through the uh, CVS clearance sale last time and I finally opened it and I'm like, I'm just gonna give it a try. And so ever since, I've been getting so much compliments on it and I love it to death and I actually pair it with this lip gloss. I'm not wearing it right now, but it's, um, the Revlon's uh, Super Lustrous Lip Gloss and Coral Reef and this is a super gorgeous color as well. It's very opaque. Um, this is not sticky either. I'm a fan, huge fan of this lip uh, lip gloss line from Revlon. doesn't have any smell. Um, it's quite long, uh, quite long lasting and I'm just amazed how bright the color comes. A lot of the lip glosses you apply it and then you're like, oh wow, it's so pretty, and then you put it on and it's like, kind of like not there, it's just so sheer. But this one, you don't have that problem. And so, um, I really like it a lot. And it's a little lighter than the lipstick color, so it kind of goes well, uh, it complements each other. So, um, these two products are actually really great uh, if you want to try something bright, like a coralish color for this uh, spring season. I recommend these two colors, and you can find them at your local drugstores. They're not limited edition or anything. Oh, and by the way, they're they're not that pricey at all, too. They're you know they're all under ten dollars, and you could always find good deals, um, like buy one get one half off deal or something like that. Okay, the next one um, that I want to go over is um, one of my holy uh, holy grail products for mascara, and it's the Ico Big Eyes Mascara. I'm a huge fan of this mascara. Um, this actually has vitamin B, and it's supposed to help promote your lash growth and you know I'm the type I'm like I don't know if that really works you know unless this is like some prescription you know strength formula or something you got from your doctor's office but I really think this works because um, I didn't notice on my top lash as much but my lower lash obviously is not you know super glamorous and full being Asian and I noticed it has gotten longer and you know I don't know why it would have grown you know, recently and not before. And so I'm only guessing it's from this product. So I truly believe that this works. Um, but another, you know, good thing about this product is the fact that it doesn't smudge, you don't get raccoon eyes. Um, it gives you that, you know, really uh, dolly eyed look. It lengthens your lashes. Um, it's not much of a, like a separating type of thing because the bristles aren't like really, really, um, it's not like those plastic bristles that are like separated. It looks like this. So it's, you know, quite, you know, wide bristles, I guess you can mention, uh, say it like that, but um, it gives you the volume and the length. That's what it's pretty much known for. The curling part, I'm not sure. It's not, it doesn't really make your eyes fall, like, droop down, and it's not a waterproof formula. I believe it's, like, water resistance, because when you um, remove this mascara off, it kind of comes off like that latexy rubber feeling, so it doesn't smudge off like a, you know, traditional mascara, so that's, like, the best part. So, you know, there's times when I wear makeup and I forget to have it on. I rub, you know, I rub the heck out of my eyes and then it's like, it just kind of comes off like little crumbles. And so it comes off really clean. So I really like that. And um, I recommend this to so many of my friends and family. And I'm a true believer in it because obviously I use a product and I really love it. So if you're looking for a great mascara um, that's not too pricey, it's about $14, I believe. Um, and I'll have the information below on where you can find that as well. Um, that's a great mascara for lengthening, um, lengthening and volume if you want very cute dolly eyed uh, lashes. Oh, and also I only use it for my lower lashes mainly because I don't, um, I usually wear falsies like I do right now. And so um, I don't wear it on both my lashes. So I'll have the full um, eyelashes on top and then I'll have it on my lower lashes. And it, you know, it really goes well together. This is probably like the best one I've used in my whole entire life. So that and another Ico product that I actually want to go over is the Ico Graffiti Pen. This is probably one of the best pen eyeliners that I've used. Um, I haven't obviously used like every one of them that's been out there, but I've definitely tr tested out a lot of products. And you know, every time I go into a makeup store like Ulta or Sephora's, and I see a pen liner or any other products, I love swatching them to see you know the quality of the product and. Uh, 
This one is so rich in color. It's super black and it's great for um, even if you wanted to do like, you know, art on your face and like do like some type of, you know, drawings or whatever. But um, I have it on right now and I always keep this in my makeup bag because on times like let's say uh, I want to touch up or let's say I have no makeup on and I apply this on, it really makes my eyes pop. Um, gives a gives a nice kick to it because it's super rich. It's a pen liner like this. It's a point. It has a pointy end, and then it's kind of like you know thicker on the um, in the center. So you can draw from like the thinnest line to the thickest line as much as you want, and it's really really rich. Here, let me show you a swatch of this. So that's what it looks like. It's really black. I don't know if you can tell, and. Um, like you could draw like the thinnest line like this and then you could go like even thicker than what I have on there. And this is only $8 and it comes in three different colors. Um, I think it was black, purple, and blue. Um, and so um, I know a lot of people said that the Tokidoki ones are pretty good too and there's probably like a few others that are good but I think this is like the most richest in pigment. So if you're looking for like a super dark black eyeliner I think this is like a great product and it's not that pricey and so um, I recommend this one. Um, I actually want to try the other different colors. I think the purple will be actually really cute. Okay and uh, that pretty much sums up all of the beauty ones. I wanted to add an extra one that has nothing to do with makeup but it's something I've been looking for like for a long time and I finally found it in my size. I was like on the hunt for it for days at Target and um, I don't know if you guys heard of a brand uh, shoes called Dolce Vita but it's like a high-end brand that they sell at the department stores and they actually have a line out for Target and these are some fabulous wedges that I found and I think they're about a four inch uh, wedge heel I believe and they have these gorgeous I don't know if you can tell in here but they're like these little gold accents on the cork wedge you can see that if it kind of glimmers like there um, they're super great in quality. Um, they're very comfortable. I've worn it a couple times now. They're gold strap. Um, Chris Crossan has like a zipper detail on the back like that. And um, they're platform on the side. So they're, that's the main reason why they're comfortable because they're not too flat on the bottom. Um, and there's a, quite a bit of cushion on the bottom of the sole. And um, I think the best part of this was for the design, I've been on like the hunt for a really cute wedge for the summer for the longest time. Whether they're too expensive because they look good or they're, you know, cheap in quality and then the price is right. So it's like, <laughs> it's not one or the other. And this one was perfect because it was on sale for $28, which the original price was only $29.99, but I still think, you know, $30 is still quite cheap for, you know, a shoe like this from, a, you know, a designer. Um, I think they still have these online and in stores at certain locations. Um, they have all these other cute wedges from this line as well and they're all, some of them are actually on sale for like $19. So if you're looking for a cute wedge, um, you should go check out Target. Um, they have some really cute shoes by this line and um, even sandals and all sorts of uh, different things and this is probably like the only shoe I found at Target in a long time that I really, really, really like and I've gotten a lot of compliments on it too. So um, that pretty much sums up everything. Sorry that this video was like super long. I tend to like, I go on with one product that I love so much and I rave about it and I just like go on and on and sometimes I have to realize I need to stop myself. <laughs> so um, I'll have all the detailed information uh, below on in the info box and please subscribe to my channel and check out my blog at wwwjpark 718 at um, <laughs> blogspot.com. I don't know why I always mess up on that part. I think that blogspot word is just like a tongue twister to me. But either way, um, hope you guys like the video and I'll talk to you later. Bye!